Hi students, so today we will teach you how to run a 5 axis VMC machine and we will also move all the axis for you. So as you know that our skill 30 batch is starting from 1st of August and we will do a new batch of 30 students in VMC and CNC every 30 days. So 1st of August, 1st of September, 1st of October. So this first, this coming 1st of August skill 30 batch, we will show you how this machine works and we will show you all the access of this machine and uh, for the syllabus, everything we have already uploaded a video on the skill 30 batch. So you can refer that. I want you to explain key what exactly, I mean, I can see there's a Siemens control, exactly. it's a huge machine and I, I think it's a, yeah. 3 plus 2, 5 axis machine. Yeah. So please, you know, give an overview of what this machine is, yeah. which control it is, what's the, uh, like the travel, bed size, all these things. And then we'll go on that machine also. Yes, sure. Yeah. So this controller here, this has three parts. Okay. So here, this is the display or we call it as HMI. So okay. HMI is nothing but human machine interface. interface yeah. And this is the panel processing unit. We call it as PPU. And this part over here is mm -hmm. the main uh, controller. So we call it as MCU, machine control unit. Okay. So and this is the uh, like so this is give the feed yeah, yeah. Uh, manual movements for the manual machine movements. for the axis. Okay. All right. Can you explain this internals like you know yeah. because physical components you can see and tell that it has an automatic tool changer exactly. Yeah. So here this this is called as the spindle and this is an attachment. Okay. So basically CNC milling machine comes with the three axis. So and this is a plus two axis attachment we are yeah. having here and we can clamp the circular parts over here. So and other thing is. So this is the automatic tool changer arm. How many tools can it take? So this is, you can come over here. So we have okay, um, wow. almost uh, 20 tools we can clamp. So that it means uh, we can uh, uh, operate so with 20, 20 different, different tools. Types of tools. Yeah. And we will show you the movements of the X, Y, Z and also the fourth and fifth axis. So we'll show the movements of all the axes in this machine, both CNC turning and BMC milling, which is of five axis. So the five axis basically this obviously moves in just three axes, but this is the extra rotation arm. This is an attachment, you know, with a very expensive attachment, and uh, we will show the rotation of this also. Yeah. So this VMC has a proper like coolant system, and uh, you know, pretty, yeah. yeah, this is a commercial machine. Like, yeah, this is a huge. Yeah. So okay. the heavy, where there is a heavy force or heavy ah. temperature is associated. Yeah. So we have to make use of coolant. Coolant. Yeah. So that is why. So this is a VMC. So VMC is nothing but vertical milling center. Okay. So next, what we are going to do as we did the same over there. So we are going to do the referencing, okay. referencing of the machine. So here, one more mm -hmm. extra uh, axis is so has been added. This is M, X, Y, Z. Yeah. And A and C are the yeah. uh, angular and circular, circular axis. Angular and circular. Yeah. Okay. Okay. These are the five axes. What is this MSP one? MSP is spindle. Okay. Spindle. Okay. Okay. So next, so we are going to do the referencing. So first, for referencing in the milling, mm -hmm. we are going to start with the Z. Z. So Z referencing. So it became zero. So next Y axis. So it is moving. Okay. You can see. So next X axis. So Perfect. It is going to the reference home positions. Okay. So this is about. So next fourth axis also some alignment should be done. So now it's zero according to the machine. Yeah. So here, uh, extra axis are uh, been uh, mm -hmm. this one. So we are going to see what are the axis. So X axis basically. Now we can give more feed and see. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see this is the X axis. Okay. This is the moment. Okay. X so controls it's the. Also written there minus yeah. and plus. You can see over there yeah. also. Yeah. So X means it controls in length. So Y means it is controls the width of the width. part. So next Z means it is the height or height. depth yeah. we call it as. So this is about the three axis. Now I'm very so interested now, about the yeah, yeah. fourth and fifth axis. I am coming to that part. Yeah. So this is fourth axis. Okay. So fourth axis you can okay, see okay. the That's angular four. rotation. Yeah. Oh. That's it. Okay. See, That's you can the see the axis. angular axis and the one more fifth. So fifth axis. So that okay. is the this revolving of the chuck. So this where will it come to picture means? Ah. So where there is a, a 3D profile to be machined yeah. or angular. Also, you can see in uh, 
For learning or beginners, it is enough. This is more than enough. More yeah, than yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So this is how, and we have the operating modes exactly the same as the same function. This you use to input the G codes from here. Yeah, this is panel processing panel unit. Processing, no? We have here alphabets and numericals and mm -hmm. some soft keys. So this control full so control controls the what is going to be written in the program. Okay. Okay. Directly we can do the program. You can see some programs have been written here. Yeah, you saved them. Yeah. yeah. Can you can you sh show a simulation of yeah. this in this? I am yeah. doing that. So this is a basic program structure where we have created a yeah. pocket and a one cycle. So now simulation. Now we are going to simulate it. Yeah, now it's showing. It's showing. Yeah, yeah. This is the first roughing that stage. That is the tool path. Yeah, tool path. The green thing, what you are seeing, is the actual material removal. Yeah. And the red lines are non-cutting actions. Okay. So in every cut, it is removing the material. Yeah. So this is just one simple face milling operation. Now it is doing a pocket. So pocket okay, is being okay. made. So exactly what this gives is students, uh, student friendly. We can say the Siemens yeah, yeah, controller is yeah, student friendly yeah, yeah. because it is easy to learn yeah. and understand as well. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That was a very good demo. Thank you.